and then we'll go ahead and see how can we um, go ahead and exploit the volumes that we have uh, uh, that we have attached to the docker so for now i'm going to stop all the containers on my machine uh, and that should also help me so all stopped and removed now let's say if i say a command who am i right what do i get here you see that this is a normal user deepak.sing right this user doesn't have uh, anything to do with uh, anything to do with the administrative permissions okay now if i try to do a uh, cat slash etc slash uh, pass wd yeah oh, i can do that etc slash shadow can i do that it doesn't say it says that i don't know if there is a file like that okay I can just do a ls for you. Okay, no such file or directory. But then, if the same thing, if I do is um, go onto a Docker, right? And I say Docker run hyphen v. I am mounting my slash, and I am mounting that uh, with the itd option so that I can also go in and talk to it. So I say that this is shared share v okay and let's say it's alpine and uh, let's run this yeah so docker ps and here is what i get as the container id so let's get into the new container uh, docker exec it and sh so now right now here if i say ls i get a share v right so I can do uh, ls slash share v slash uh, let's say if I do a etc slash so you can see the file that I was not able to see there I can see it here and for a change if I want to cat the file which you should not be seeing actually as the output uh, i can actually cat the file also right so you could see that the things are pretty much exposed out here so 